Uzbekistan is considered one of the cradles of human civilization, a country with a rich historical past. The culture of the Uzbek people is one of the most unique and original, which has been formed over millennia. Since ancient times, various types of arts have developed on the territory of Uzbekistan, including music. Monuments of material culture and written sources that have reached us testify to the ancient origins of the musical heritage of the Uzbek people. In the 9th, 12th centuries, during the era of Renaissance, Samarkand, Bukhara, Merv, Urganj and other cities became leading scientific and cultural centers. Local traditions were revived in all fields of science, literature and art. A huge number of scientific treatises were created. The best examples of musical art received generalized coverage in treatises on music by such Central Asian encyclopedic scholars as Al-Farabi, Abu Ali ibn Sina, Al-Khwarezmi, Jami and others. The pinnacle of classical music of Uzbek and Tajik people became Shashmakom. Shashmakom, from Persian Tajik meaning six makams, is the leading musical cyclical genre of the musical heritage, which includes a cycle of complex and perfect instrumental as well as vocal compositions encompassing different types of milos forms, usuls, rhythmic formula and performances. Makomat is a phenomenon of the spiritual culture of the people of Central Asia. Shashmakom consists of six makams Buzruk, Rost, Navo, Dugoh, Segoh and Iraq. Each of these consists of two parts respectively instrumental one which is called Mushkilot and vocal one which is called Nasr representing more than 250 cycles of instrumental and vocal compositions in total. Shashmakom got formed in an urban environment and its bearers of traditions were well-known musicians and singers. Its vocal part was performed in Uzbek and Tajik languages. The texts were mainly taken from the poems of classics of oriental poetry and were dedicated to love-related, lyrical, philosophical, didactic, religious themes. Folk poetry examples were also used. The most widely used musical instrument was tambur. It is based on tuning tambur that the tonal basis of makoms emerged. The instrumental part of each makom included instrumental compositions such as Tasnif, Tarj, Gardun, Mukhammas and Sakil, performed either solo or by an instrumental ensemble. However, 
Each part differed with its own tune, the character of melody, structure, and usuls of daira. Vocal parts are considered the most difficult and complete ones in terms of structure, melos, and form, and are divided into two cycles, shuba. The first one includes sarak bor, talkin, nasser, and ufar, performed by leading singer Hafiz. Their melodies are more developed, of great range and complex form. Between main parts, Tarana was sung by vocal ensemble as a connecting one. The second cycle, Shuba, includes five-part cycles Mogulcha and Saft, except Makom Iraq. In addition to the main parts, each makam incorporates additional compositions. Instrumental one, Nagma, Peshrau, Samoi, Hafif, and vocal one, Uzzol, Ushok, Bayot, Chargok, Nasrullah, Oras, Husseini, Navruz Sabah, Hara, and Ajam. The creators of which were Bastakors, creators of oral musical tradition. Shashmakam got formed, has been preserved, mastered and transmitted from generation to generation verbally, based on Ustos Shagert, master apprentice method of learning. During the 18th, beginning of the 20th century, Shashmakom was a leading genre in court and urban culture, in Bukhara, Samarkand, etc. The traditions of Shashmakom were mastered in the beginning of the 20th century at Bukhara Oriental School and Institute of Folk Music and Choreography in Samarkand. For the first time, Shashmakom was recorded by Russian composer Viktor Uspensky in 1923 in Bukhara from famous masters Ota Jalal Nasirov, Ota Ryos It was published in 1924 under the title of Six Musical Poems Shashmakom. In the upcoming years, Shashmakom was recorded by Faizulayev, Shahobov, Sohibov, Yunus Rajabi, and Babakanov. Starting from the 20th century, Shashmakom was recorded and published in the form of separate collections, was scientifically studied and integrated in a new system of music education and was actively used in composers' activities in Uzbekistan. In 1959, on the initiative of Yunus Rajabi, the first ever professional Makom ensemble was created under the O species of radio of Uzbekistan, which became an advocate and promoter of Makam art as well as a school, bringing up new generation of musicians and singers whose activity continues to present. Activities associated with awareness raising and advocacy of Shashmakom are conducted by professional and amateur Makam ensembles in Uzbekistan. 
Since 1975, competitions of amateur Macomb ensembles and since 1983, competitions of young Macomb performers and ensembles have been conducted. In the last few years, it became a tradition to organize international as well as republican level competition of young performers of Makam art. The traditions of Shash Makam were integrated into the educational process of the Conservatoire Institute of Art and Culture, Pedagogical Universities, Colleges of Music and Academic License music schools. Among the barriers of Shashmakom traditions, it is possible to mention the following individuals Ota Jalal Nosirov, Ota Giyos Abdugani, Levi Babakanov, Domla Khalem Albodov, Yunus Rajabi, Fakhreddin Sadikov, Berta Davidova, Turgun Alimatov, Munojot Yulchiva, Ulmas Rasulov and others. Among ensembles, it is possible to mention Makam Ensemble named after Yunus Rajabi, Makam Ensemble of Bukhara Regional Philharmonic Society. <laughs> to safeguard Shash Makam, various studies are conducted. Books and multi-volume editions are published. Audio and video discs are produced. TV and radio programs are broadcasted. Concerts such as Makam Evenings and Nazam Navor are organized in Uzbekistan. In addition, leading performers organize master classes and scientific conferences. In 2003, the music of Shashmakom was recognized by UNESCO as the masterpiece of intangible cultural heritage of humanity and in 2008 was included in the representative list of intangible cultural heritage of UNESCO.